This Can Open Magic Tech Brief video is about the essential settings. So what are the first settings that one should make once the program is started? We are now reviewing the most important settings in Can Open Magic. So simply go to View Preferences. In the Can Open Protocol section, one of the important settings is the device profile or application profile to use. Here we have the generic. If you use something very specific like CIA 447 or 454, those need to be selected here. Then in regards to the service data object, CanOpenMagic supports both SDO, the service data object from classical CanOpen, as well as the USDO, the universal service data object, which is used by CanOpen FD. So you have to switch over to whichever network you are using. And when you use CAD OpenFD, you can set this check mark and this to fully enable CAN OpenFD support in CAN Open Magic. Now there's another one we need to look at. Here's the USDO client or SDO client. When we're using CAN OpenFD and also sometimes in classical CAN Open, the device using an SDO client also needs to have a node ID. And uh, this is selected here, the 7F. And that is also shown down here in the status line. If we enable this and when it's used, then also CAN Open Magic mimics the minimal object dictionary to identify itself. So if somebody else asks us we are node number 7F and sends us SDO or USDO request, then we can reply to device type, vendor ID, revision number, product code and serial number. These can be filled in here. Once the settings are made, we still need to make a connection to the bus and the can open network. That is done via network connect. And here we have a selection of the can interfaces support it. I choose here the peak system technique because I have a peak and USB FD connected. And if the bitrate that you are looking at is not supported here, not listed, you need to create a network. This is part of the driver settings in peak because the driver has their own tool management for their different networks. We can go straight there to edit. And this shows us a list of the existing bit rates. Let's say we want to add one here. Simply say new network. Give it a name. Maybe I'll now add here 250. Call it can open 250. Regular can open, so not can FD. And the nominal bit rate I want to choose is 250 kilobit. Okay, it shows up here. It's shows that it still needs to be saved. Click on save. Close this and if we now go back in here, hey, the new network we selected shows up. And down here in the status line we now see the summary. So we are connected to the PCAN USB FD at 250 kilobits per second. We are using generic device and application profile, default 301 SDOs. And if anyone asks, we are node number 7F. And once you made all your settings, it's a good idea to save them. Or we can do a file save project, or as a shortcut here, use the save icon from the toolbar and simply call them my settings or whatever you want to call them. And now they are saved. And so if we quit can open magic and we have that on the desktop here, my settings, the next time you start it, just double click and it comes up with the same settings again as it previously had.